These are the top 10 small cap stocks to keep an eye on in 2021. As the markets are recovering steadily, small cap stocks are back in focus and seem to have outclassed the A-listers. Some of them have generated over 1,500% returns in the last 52-week period. Better than most of the global indices, stocks having market capitalization between 300 million and 2 billion pound are referred as small cap stocks. These businesses are often in a nascent stage with huge growth potential. However, investing in these stocks could be risky as these stocks are highly volatile and can be influenced by institutional investors. Therefore, one might seek help from professionals before taking a call on these stocks. The good part of investing in these stocks is that these stocks boost your portfolio growth and help you to generate inflation-adjusted returns in the long term. First on the list is Avacta Group PLC, the UK-based biotechnology company Avacta Group. Avacta made excellent operational progress in both the diagnostics and therapeutics divisions during 2020. Avacta Group has recently announced the Aphidex SARS-CoV-2 rapid antigen test that detects the newly mutated variants of COVID-19. Also, the company has entered into a diagnostic license agreement with BioKit, which incorporates Aphimere regrants into a biokit in vitro diagnostic product. The company has strong growth drives underpinned by a COVID-19 spike protein binding aphemias. In the last year, the company delivered a substantial return of 1200% as of the 25th of March. Market capitalization figures are 625.84. Number two on our list is Clipper Logistics PLC. The pandemic has been a boom for UK-based logistics company Clipper. Throughout the pandemic-induced lockdowns, the entire nation relied heavily on logistics and supply chain solutions. Clipper Logistics witnessed an increase of 28%. Its logistics operations during the first half of 2021 and extraordinary levels of trading during Christmas and Black Friday across the UK and continental Europe. The online retailers are hugely dependent on the logistics services. Even in the post-vaccine world, the trend is likely to continue. The logistics company recently won two major contracts with fashion retailers River Island and Mountain Warehouse, and the company does expect to continue its good run into 2022. In the last year, the company delivered a substantial return of 277.56% as of the 25th of March. Its market capitalization figures are 599.33. Number three on the list, Synergen PLC, the UK-based drug maker Synergen has underpinned its growth on the positive interim results of SNG001 COVID-19 treatment and is seeking regulatory approvals. Rising mutations of COVID-19 could make vaccines less effective amid the pandemic. The world is in dire need for broad spectrum treatment options and therefore the company has commenced the dosing of inhaled interferon beta formulation. In US-backed NIH Active 2 trial, the company is in the development stage and hence relies on grants and cash balances to carry on all the business activities. The operations are financed by the sale of equity securities by private placements. In the last year, the company delivered a substantial return of 245.21 cents as of the 25th of March. Market capitalization, 325.86. Number four on our list is Draper Esprit PLC. Draper is a leading venture capital firm that invests predominantly in digital technology businesses with high growth potential. The company had recently invested 32 million pound in Kazoo and Rebellion, two new companies during the first half of 2021. During the period, the company's net assets grew by 8% to 715 million pound. In the last year, the company delivered a substantial return of 169.48% as of the 25th of March. It market capitalization figures of 1,153.93. Number five is Naked Wines, one of the leading direct consumer wine businesses. Naked Wines revenue soared by 80% to 157.1 million pound during the first half of 2021. During the period, the wine company increased its warehouse and customer service capacity by 104% and 80% respectively. And the company is expected to carry the positive trading momentum into the second half of 2021. In the last year, the company delivered a substantial return of 170.38% as of the 25th of March. Its market capitalization figures are 514.33. 
Number six is Volution Group PLC, the UK-based provider of air quality indoor solution. Volution Group PLC delivered resilient performance during the first half of 2021. The company did witness strong revenue growth of 8.6% on constant currency basis driven by operational excellence and margin expansion. Also, the reported profit before tax of the company was up by 18.8% to £14.2 million during the first half of 2021. 11.9 million, the company witnessed strong profitability and free cash generation that led to distribution of earnings. The company announced an interim dividend of 1.90 pence per share for each one financial year 21. In the last year, the company's substantial return was of 150.54% as of the 25th of March, and its market capitalization figures are 744.18. Number seven is Card Factory PLC. The UK-based card retailer Card Factory PLC has generated strong sales through its online presence. The digital card business thrived during the pandemic-led lockdowns and is expected to continue growth momentum. The company is good at cash generation and is taking steps to bolster its liquidity in the last year, the company delivered a substantial return of 97.29% as of the 25th of March. It has essentially doubled the investor's money. Its market capitalization figures are 228.84. Keyword Solutions PLC is number eight on our list. The Irish gaming services provider recently entered the Australian market by acquiring 85% interest in gaming firm Tantalus Media Proprietary Limited. Since May 2020, Keyword Studios has made seven high-quality acquisitions, further strengthening the breadth and depth of value-added services offered in the UK, the US and Italy. The Irish company made a strong finish to the financial year of 2020, driven by strong demand for services throughout the second half. The company would like to carry the momentum into 2021. In the last year, the company delivered a substantial return of 79.85% as of the 25th of March, and its market capitalization figures are 1,806.11. Number nine on our list is Pan-African Resources PLC. The UK-based gold miner Pan-African Resources delivered a strong operational and financial performance during the first half of 2021, with net debt decreasing by 47.3% and record RAND dividend payment in December 2020 of 17.8 million US. During the first half of 2021, the adjusted EBITDA was up by 72.9% year over year and earnings per share increased by 85.1%. In the last year, the company delivered a substantial return of 47.46% as of the 25th of March and its market capitalization figures are 313.35. And finally, number 10, Alpha FX Group PLC, the UK-based provider of FX risk management and alternative banking solutions to BTB clients. Alpha FX Group recorded 31% spike in revenue, which stood at 46.2 million in 2020. 2019 figures were 35.4 million GBP. During 2020, the company witnessed an increase of 16% in its clientele and the average revenue per client was up by 12%. Also, the company declared a final dividend of eight pence per share for 2021. In the last year, the company delivered a substantial return of 38.2% as of the 25th of March. We hope you enjoyed this update. I'm Dean Mitchell. You can read the full story on calkine.com forward slash news, and you can also watch video on YouTube, Facebook, and LinkedIn.